How's the cookie? You want to know? It's the Oreo Review Show. What's up, Nimrods? Welcome to the Oreo Review Show, starring this guy, the only guy on YouTube who has this Oreo Review Show, wherein I eat Oreo cookies and relay my feelings about said cookies to you, the viewer. It's very, very sad. Just about the only thing I can think of that is sadder than that is being the person who willingly clicks on and watches that. Got him! In all seriousness, folks, uh, we are now entering one of my favorite seasons, definitely in the top four, fall, also known as autumn, if you're a pretentious fella. And uh, one of the great things about fall is the new Oreo flavor, a pumpkin spice flavored Oreo. Uh, and you can see here on the packaging, it is uh, uh, modeled after perhaps a pumpkin pie. Uh, you know, I guess they, they didn't want to go with just a straight up pumpkin. They thought a pumpkin pie is, is more welcoming, more inviting to the public. You're more likely to want to eat that because nobody really wants to lick a pumpkin. Much to the chagrin of the headless horseman. People have strong feelings about pumpkin spice. I've noticed that women tend to love it. <laughs> and uh, the fellas, not so much. The fellas are over in the corner going, sports. Have you, I don't know if that's just something that I have noticed. Maybe it is just me, but I, I feel like women be pumpkin spice. Feminism! There's also some cute little leaves at the top of this slice of pumpkin pie. I don't know if those are edible. I've never seen a pie that included leaves like that. But don't you leave just yet, I'm gonna eat the... Folks, it's not too late to back out. You can just click out of this. You're under no obligation. I gotta say, I like the look of these pumpkin spice Oreo cookies. They are goldens. Had they gone with the chocolate, it would have been fucked up. And I know these are not actually new. These are coming back after a few years away. However, I missed out the first time around. I was not yet in my serious full-on Oreo cookie critic status as a person. So I, I was unable to review the pumpkin spice Oreo. So others have experienced these before. For me, brand new sensations await. Anyway, see if you can figure out uh, what else there is to like about this one. It, it, there's not that much, uh, sorry, did I, not, did I not give you enough time? There's not that much cream. Relatively, based on looks alone. Now, maybe sometimes the factory uh, workers at Nabisco really fuck things up and the, the proportions get all out of whack. And sometimes the cream is like in weird layers or it's too bunched up in the middle, especially with these limited editions. They're idiots and assholes over there. These are 150 calories for every two cookies. That means these are slightly more calories worth than a, a regular double stuff, which are 140 for every two cookies. Maybe maybe the pumpkin spice just has a richer content to it. I don't know how these things work. It's a nice color. It's the, it's the color of pumpkin. Meanwhile, you can see the cookie part is like stained by it. Looks like Snooky. Got him! And now I shall eat the cookie. God help me, folks. I kind of like the cookie. I, uh, I, I I like the cookie. I think that Nabisco has sort of learned from their past mistakes. They've started to pull back from the really strong flavors and go in a subtler direction with a lot of their choices. And I think that's very much reflected in these because this could have been a real pumpkin spice in your face impact. But it is, in fact, as I said, subtle. I, I, this is one of those cases where if you gave this to me blindfolded, I'm not 100% sure I could tell you that it's meant to be a pumpkin spice flavor, which I suppose 
begs the larger question, what exactly is pumpkin spice? Does it taste like pumpkin or is it just a blend of like nutmeg and cinnamon and sugar? Truthfully, there is no way to, to know that information. It's either one or the other and I don't know which. It's absolutely bringing out the strengths of the golden cookie exterior. And I don't know if it's just the complimenting of the pumpkin spice cream or if they actually did something different to these cookies, but it has a, a really nice, delicate, crunchy, spicish kind of a flavor to it. Maybe you can see, it, it does almost seem like there's a slightly different hue, a light dusting of, of a slightly oranger look to these cookies. But the way I saw the inside stained, that could easily just be an after effect of them being exposed to this pumpkin spice cream. So I really am not sure one way or the other. I guess I could try one. Oh, fuck. I think it's just a golden. This is like a fancy Oreo. You you take one layer and you, you kind of crumble it on the top and it looks like a little like a little hors d'oeuvre they'd pass around at a fancy party or a bar mitzvah. Mmm, mmm, this pairs nicely with my shrimp scampi. I still maintain that there is maybe less cream in this than a double stuff, in spite of the calorie count I noted earlier. It feels just lighter. It feels like there is less cream. And I'm a man of faith, not a man of science. So I don't have the information, the data to back this up necessarily, but I'm going with my gut here. I'm about to give you my final review score for the pumpkin spice Oreos. Those go from a scale of, uh, from a one um, uh, full Oreo, which is the absolute best best cookie you can do. That gets a full Oreo as its score. Uh, or it could maybe, if it's bad, get zero Oreos. That's the worst you can do, so that's not good. Uh, so I'm gonna give this a, a score somewhere in there after, after I uh, give you the summary, my final thoughts and such. The biggest knock against this that I can give it, as I said, is simply the ephemeral nature of pumpkin spice. Can one ever really know pumpkin spice? Ultimately, I think this gives you what you want if you're the kind of person who's looking for the pumpkin spice kick. What you get from a pumpkin spice coffee from a Dunks or someplace like that, you're gonna roughly get that kind of a flavor from this. It is a little subtler, and still, ultimately, mostly what you're getting is sugar. Like, again, I, to reiterate, I think my biggest complaint, really, to rephrase it, to uh, to reform it, to put it in a different way, to sort of say it with an alternate set of words, kind of, I guess the way that I would put that differently, is that it's not that different from a, a regular Oreo. So... Uh, you know, it's not the ambitious, go for it, this really tastes like you're putting a pumpkin in your mouth uh, kind of a thing. But I, I think ultimately that's the right choice. That's the direction you want to go with an Oreo. If it's too strong, that can really ruin the whole thing. It's, it's just a hint of the pumpkin spice, just like a hint of pumpkin spice creamer or something in your coffee. Truthfully, I don't know if maybe... To be honest, I just like the golden Oreo cookie and maybe I, th I think that is doing a lot of the heavy lifting and the cream is almost just like, I got a nice little touch on top of the cookie, but I, whatever the case may be, it works just fine. And in the interest of starting the school year off, right? I'm gonna go ahead and award these uh, half a cookie with cream. I don't know. Whatever, fuck you, it's a fucking cookie show. One thing I can tell you that it definitely doesn't taste like is a pumpkin pie. It doesn't, it does not taste like a pumpkin pie. They should have just called these like pumpkin spice latte Oreo cookies. Cause honestly that probably would have gotten them better sales, would have seemed more gimmicky and it would have been more accurate to the flavor in my humble opinion as a professional expert Oreo cookie reviewer, uh, kind of the top of my game. Nobody else even comes close to where I am. No one else is qualified to make the kinds of calls that I make on a daily basis. They would crumble under the pressure of what I am forced to do for you people. So, so um, 
I was saying that it doesn't taste like a pumpkin pie. That's I hope everybody watching uh, does have a good start to their school year, whether you be a student or a teacher, and uh, also a, a wishing a warm, happy Rosh Hashanah to the Jews. Thanks everybody. Uh, be sure to like this video if you did in fact like it. I only want your honest likes. If you didn't like it, fuck off with your with your pity likes. Subscribe also, because sometimes there's more of these. Maybe I should like, I don't know. I should start telling people something else because that I think dissuades people from subscribing. But you can also hit a bell, which does something. And you can also leave a comment so you can let me know where you land on the pumpkin spice debate. Woman or man? Thanks for watching. Oreo! How's the cookie? You wanna know? It's the Oreo Review Show.